Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, welcome back to English class Okay, today we are going to listen and read a story What is the story about? The story is about a mother who has three daughters They are wind, moon, and sun. The title of the story is How Moon Was Kind to Her Mother. In Bahasa Indonesia, we can say Bagaimana bisa bulan baik kepada ibunya? Hmm. So, what's going on with them? Before we start, what you have to do is Please prepare your English book. When you have started to read and listen, please write down the difficult words that you find in the story. For example, Track 5 How the Moon Was Kind to Her Mother Once upon a time, a long time ago, the sun, the wind, and the moon were three sisters. Because you don't know the meaning of kind, so you may write kind on your English book. K-I-N-D. After that, you may listen again and write down other words that you don't know the meaning. Are you curious with this story? Let's start! Track 5 How the Moon Was Kind to Her Mother Once upon a time, a long time ago, the sun, the wind, and the moon were three sisters, and their mother was a pale, lovely star that shone far away in the dark evening sky. One day, their uncle and aunt, Thunder and Lightning, invited the three sisters to have supper with them and their mother said that they could go. She would wait for them, she said, and would not sleep until all three returned and told her about their pleasant visit. So the sun in her dress of gold, the wind in a trailing dress that rustled as she passed, and the moon in a wonderful gown of silver, went to the dinner party. Oh, it was a supper to remember. The table was spread with a cloth of rainbow, there were ice creams like the snow on the mountain tops, and cakes as soft and white as clouds, and fruits from every part of the earth. The three sisters ate a lot, especially the sun and the wind, who were very greedy and ate everything. But the moon was kind and remembered her mother. She hid a part of her supper in her long white fingers to take home and share with her mother, the star. Then the three sisters said goodbye to Thunder and Lightning and went home. When they reached home, they found their mother, the star, waiting and shining for them as she had said she would. What did you bring me from the supper? she asked. The sun tossed her head with all its yellow hair and answered, Why should I bring you anything? I went out for my own pleasure and not to think of you. It was the same with the wind. She wrapped her flowing robes about her and turned away from her mother. I too went out to have fun, she said. And why should I think of you, mother, when you were not with me? But it was very different with the moon, who was not as greedy and selfish as her two sisters, the sun and the wind. She turned her sweet face towards her mother, the star, and held out her slender hands. See, mother, cried the moon. I have brought you part of everything that was on my plate. I ate only half of the supper because I wanted to share it with you. So the mother put the food that her kind daughter the moon had brought her on her gold plate. She ate it, and then she turned to her three children, for she had something important to say to them. She spoke first to the sun. You were thoughtless and selfish, my daughter, she said. You thought only about yourself. From this day, your rays will be so hot that they will burn everything they touch. 
People will cover their heads when you appear. And that is why, to this day, the sun is so hot and blazing. Next, the mother spoke to the wind. You too, my daughter, have been unkind and greedy, she said. You will blow in the heat of your sister, the sun. No one will love you any more. And that is why, to this day, the wind, blowing in hot weather, is very unpleasant. Last, the mother spoke to her kind daughter, the moon. You remembered your mother and were very kind, she said. Those who are thoughtful of their mother and others will be blessed. For all time your light will be cool and calm and beautiful. You will make the dark night bright, and all people will love you. And that is how the moon was kind to her mother. So, how do you think about this story? Is it fun or is it meaningful? Well, the moral value that we can get from this story is we are, as human, don't be greedy, don't be unkind, and don't be selfish. Well, for today, you are free from worksheet. Okay, what you have to do is only find the meaning from the difficult word that you write on your book. You can find in dictionary or on internet. You don't have to take a picture or you don't have to submit on your Google Classroom. That's all for today. Hopefully, you can learn something from this story. That's all. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you again.